towards an end goal, every little piece comes together in the end, and you can't take for granted any bit of that. You can't take for granted the, the workouts that are not as impressive or heavy or as exciting. You have to treat them just like you treat all the other workouts, and that's what I really had to do today. I had to focus my way through this entire session, even though the top sets didn't look as exciting um, or attention-grabbing as the other sessions that I've been having. My top set was 535 for five sets of four today, and I've been doing 570 for my sets of five uh, in the previous workouts, and so this wasn't you know, one of those, it was one of those workouts where I had to bring my own focus. The weight wasn't doing it for me. I had to make sure that I was respecting the weight um, regardless and ended up being a pretty good session. I think the reps were pretty solid. Uh, I did have pretty much the whole gym to myself. That other guy who you see playing with the weight over there is probably my only friend in here for most of the session. Um, this workout took place during the Super Bowl. I was in here because I figured it would be the best time to come in. I didn't think there would be many people around and I'd have a chance to focus in and, you know, kind of have control over as many factors as I could during the session. So it ended up being a really good call and got a really good workout in. So this is how it went. Um, I don't really have a whole lot even to talk about right now about the session itself because like I said, I was just putting in work. Um, I am getting better at the knee wraps. I am pretty excited to see that. Uh, it's something that will come along and this was my third session with, I guess my fourth technically wrapping my knees and by the end of this uh, five week prep into the meet, I'll have had 13 straight sessions where I'll be nap wrapping my knees and so I should be pretty you know, practiced at it by then and I have a I have a good feeling that it's going to carry over well to the performance at the meet and being ready for it and um, I will be wrapping my own knees at the meet I'll probably find someone to give me lift offs but that's just the way I like to do things I like to I like to practice like I play and I like to go and show up to the meet and be comfortable um, with the way that I do things and unless I had someone wrapping my knees for me in all these other sessions I don't think I'd really be comfortable having someone take that on and possibly throwing me off my groove uh, at a time when it matters so that's how that's gonna go I people have been asking me if I could do uh, a video to show how to wrap my knees I could do that um, I will say already though that I think Eric Lillibridge has a video still up of how he wraps his knees and my way of doing it is very similar to that um, there might be one or two little things that are different but for the most part it's pretty much the same style um, and these are the Titan uh, gold signature wraps and that's really they're two and a half meters and I think that's all the info you'd need to really figure out how I do it so um, I might still make that video if there's really a, a want and desire for it moved on to bench pressing still working out some different things um, my top sets today were 340 for three sets of two and then I dropped the weight down and did some really gentle pause reps um, almost off my chest. It was it was where I would try to touch my touch my t-shirt and not my chest, if that makes sense. Um, just to work on my control a little bit better. Uh, the first set of it here at 315 ended up being pretty difficult, just because I'm not used to that amount of of deceleration, I guess. But then I got a little bit more comfortable with it in the next couple of sets. I kind of sped up my descent and then still tried really hard to control it um, at the very bottom and I think it's gonna that that will probably help me out a little bit after that I moved on to the only accessories that I'm really doing right now uh, this is a pressing movement I think I showed it in another video but this is a better angle of it and um, I wanted to work my triceps but I didn't want to do a lot of extension movements because uh, I wanted to pre protect my elbow so I'm doing these presses I would be doing the whole stack, but it picks me up if I try that, and so i am got to find a way to anchor myself down so I can use a little bit more weight, but then I'm supersetting that with uh, sets of five for these wide grip dips um, to get a little bit more chest activation. So that's how the workout went. Pretty excited um, with how everything's feeling right now. Uh, nutrition's been good, mo mobility work's been really good, just been feeling 
pretty pretty content with with my preparation and how everything is and so I am going to be back in the gym Tuesday I have 605 for some some rep work it will be an interesting session but I'll do my best at it and I will have I promise I will have that other Q&A video up uh, either tomorrow or the next day I will I will get it up even if I have to do two videos in a day um, but I've been meaning to put that up. I just haven't gotten around to it because it's on my other computer. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, leave a like rating, share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome below. Let me know what you think of the new format. I've still got a lot of work to do with this uh, software to figure out, but I'm excited to play around with it. So thanks again, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.